Like many car enthusiasts, we generally start out playing with some scaled down model of our favorite car. Well today in the Larson garage we have a scaled down model of a car, but we're not playing with toys here. We're building this. Now what we have here is a half scale model of a CJ3D. Now although it's just taped together cardboard right now, we're going to be making it out of all sheet metal and getting it to run and drive. Now this half Jeep started life as a four wheeler. So obviously we cut the frame apart to strengthen the wheelbase, took the engine out, took all the plastics off and, and sort of just left with the bare bones of, of what we needed for front suspension, the steering, A-arms, rear suspension, rear axle. So what we've done so far, like I said, we've, we've lengthened the wheelbase here with some pipe, uh, made a new sort of back section that'll be the frame of the, the back of the Jeep and where the sheet metal will start to attach to. So what we need to do next is finish up the front of this frame. So we need to put a bar in here that we can mount uh, the hood, the front of where the sheet metal tub is going to be. Uh, we have the full suspension out right now, so it's essentially a full full compression, so we know exactly where we need the clearance, uh, where the floor is going to go. And so that's what we're going to be doing in this video, is focusing on just the frame, sort of the, the structural support of this. And then as we go to the next uh, videos we'll be doing more cheap metal work uh, and then finally what's going to power this uh, we're going to be doing an electric motor so how that motor gets mounted what are we doing for batteries what are we doing with weight and, and all of that so stay tuned <laughs> the front of the frame all cleaned up a few of those brackets cut off. Uh, we're going to go in and, and cut this piece of 3 quarter inch schedule 40 pipe. That's what we've used for the rest of the frame here. Uh, it's about the same diameter, a little bit bigger diameter, the same wall thickness of what was originally in the four wheeler short, so it should be plenty strong enough for what we're doing here. Uh, so we'll get this cut up, get it tacked in there, and like I said, this will be our support for the front fenders, the hood, the front of the tub, but also what we're going to do with our steering. Uh, and that's that's sort of a, a big thing. We also have to to move the steering from the center where it is on the four wheeler to uh, a left hand drive. So the the intention is that two two kids will be able to fit into this Jeep, and so we don't want to put the steering wheel right on the center. We want to kind of get it offset. So we got to do a few things with that to to figure out that. Uh, but this this bar will help us to be a solid mounting point for uh, not only the steering shaft but the wheel as well and, and the brake pedal. Alright, so we have the frame propped up now uh, to make sure that it's, it's all level and square. We're not working on any uneven surfaces because uh, we want this front bar to be level and parallel with this back bar. Make sure it's not off, off at any funny angles. So i got a couple more measurements to do. This is just being held in with, with magnets right now. Then we'll get it tacked in place, do some more final measurements, and then fully weld it in. So now going through and double checking all the measurements and everything, I found that this side's a little bit high. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to beef up this tack weld a little bit, cut this one, see if I can knock this down and get it nice and level. Now that we have essentially the skeleton of the frame set up, what we need to do is build a structure that will help us attach the body to the actual frame. Uh, right now, even though this is cardboard, it's pretty flimsy, but even if we made it out of sheet metal right now, it, it would still be flimsy. So we'll, we'll build some structure. Um, what I have to do that, I have some 1 inch angle iron, 8 inch thick. Um, what I'm initially thinking is I'll use this to essentially build a little rocker panel, rocker guard. Uh, that'll help not only in the event that, that we hit anything with this, uh, but also give us some structure that, that'll help us to build or bolt the, the body panels too. Uh, and with these older Willys uh, tubs, they have a little rake in in the front. The front of the Jeep is narrower than the back. Uh, so I have to try and remember some of those equations from geometry class to figure this out. 
in order to bend this angle iron to the 16 and a half roughly degrees that I need for to, to compensate for the rake in the tub I'm gonna cut a little wedge out um, so knowing that it's roughly 16 and a half degrees I'm just gonna put this to right about 8 degrees to the best that I can and mark that do the same thing from the other side and if it will refocus so now I have a little sliver here that I'm gonna cut out and then once I cut that I'll be able to bend this back so the two pieces meet and that should give me around that that 16 degree angle that I'm looking for so now that I have this frame all packed together I packed together uh, the cuts I made so that the angles will stay so all those measurements are fine we're good with that so when I go to put it on at least where I was initially thinking uh, it doesn't really fit the way I was hoping it would uh, obviously the front pieces are now into the front tires uh, hitting this back section so it's not not quite what I was thinking so if I, I put it back sort of slide it in so that this back brace is now behind uh, the support it fits it fits better uh, when you put the body on it lines up with where the body should be but now the issue I'm running into is we have this A-arm so if I leave it like this this A-arm is going to hit this back support uh, which obviously we can't have and it's hitting the back tires right now so I'm going to cut all these tack welds move this back piece forward so that it will be in front of this back bar uh, and then we'll we'll take a look at it then and see see what we think try that again. So I move the bracket up a few inches so that it's now in front of this back support. We just have it resting on some 2x4s for now just to get it to the right height. So now when we put the body on, get it all lined up and see exactly how, how it's going to go. So this angle iron will, will work as a nice uh, rocker guard. Uh, obviously we still have quite a bit to go with it just sitting on the 2x4s. Uh, we can check clearance now with, with some the tires and the steering and see how all that's going to go and as the suspension cycles. So as we clearance around that, around the back tires and suspension, then we'll, we'll start to build the structure for how this piece that we just made is going to now connect to the frame uh, and then plan on how the body panels will connect to this piece as well. So now that we have the front support all tacked in place, uh, it's a little bit more rigid, set up some jacks to keep it right at the, the height we need it so it gives us the proper spacing from where the bottom of the, the rocker is going to be to where the top of the body is. So now that we know exactly where it's going to go, where it's going to land, and where we're going to attach it to the frame, we'll go through, clean this all up, prep it for weld, uh, and do some final measurements, make sure everything is square, and we'll pack it in place. <laughs>
Alright, so we have the support all tack welded in. We have the body back on it to see uh, how everything fits and lines up. So I had to add a couple spacers here in the front to make sure or to make this all level with the back because this brace started to come up onto this bend so it was a little bit higher in the front so that's what those uh, just spacers sort of fill up and make the floor nice and level. Uh, so the next thing that we need to do is build the front structure that will hold the hood. Side or the bottom of the hood. So we'll have to figure that out. Maybe put in some bump stops so we don't uh, don't catch the hood once we make it out of metal. Uh, so obviously there's still still quite a bit to do. I have to build a whole sort of front support with uh, what's going to mount the grill. I have to make the cardboard cut out of the grill and figure out how all of that is going to mount in. Uh, and then still need to do some more on the cab side with some sort of dash bar uh, to hold the steering. And then also the brakes, uh, but that'll be that'll be future videos. Uh, right now, I have to give a shout out to uh, Edlin and Son Blacksmithing. That's where I, I got all of this steel, all the uh, three quarter inch piping, all the angle iron, and all of this uh, quarter inch rod. All right, I'm gonna wrap this video up. Thank you for taking the time and watching this. The next time you see this half sheep in the Larson garage, we'll be making some sheet metal panels for it, uh, like the hood, body panels. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with the, the grill. I have some ideas, but we'll see how that actually turns out. Uh, so like I said, thank you for watching. Be sure to check back in when we, we release that video. But in the meantime, I gotta get back to work on this. Thanks. Yeah.